myself in this situation. I spend a while streaming on a wide vacation. A more white Levi's were covering his femur until he covered them with coffee and creamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he should add the rich teacher on either the streamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he should add the rich teacher on either the streamer. Teacher, don't I don't know. 
Hi, I'm Mr. G. Welcome to my class. I bet that sounds pretty good right about me. How is everybody today? Google, play some Bach, please. Sit. Hi, Mr. G. Hello, I'm Mrs. G. I said called Mrs. J, Mrs. G. I'm sure Mr. J isn't happy about that. Where's Jay Beamer made? Sit. Goober. How is everybody today? I already said that. Hey Google, play some uh, Ludwig van Beethoven. Guys, here's a Pandora station called Ludwig van Beethoven Radio. MRJ is sending his shooters. Where's Jay Beamer made? Sit. I like the polo. Thanks. Uh, you know, tactical pants, too. Uh, Alright. Today is... Where's Jay Beamer made? Yeah. November. OMG, look at Peach. Hey, Peachy. Peachy. Oh, God. underscore Nicotino 3. Yeah. It's fun when you yell at Google LOL. Where's Jay Beamer made? To LOL. Today's gonna be a quiet stream. I've been drinking a lot of caffeine, which isn't good. I stopped drinking sodas for like six months or eight months for like March until recently. To Google deserves it. And then I just recently started drinking sodas. Because JR just decided to bring over a 12 pack of sodas. And guess what, guys? Soda's addicting. Hey, Google, turn down the music when I'm talking. Alright, I, I have a few options for No, that. no, no. Hey, Google. Hey, hey. Hey, Google. Uh, turn down the volume. Hey, Google. Make tropical rainforest. Is made? Tip. I haven't all had right, soda all year. Let's get rainforest sounds. Show Sean's underscore new underscore all. Tip. That Probably JR is such a thoughtful fella. Well, uh, no, he did me. that passive aggressively. He wanted me to get addicted to cola. Like he also brought over um, a 12 pack of Heineken, which, you know, alcohol is also addicting. And I hadn't drank any alcohol, you know, in, in almost a year. And then, you know, I drank some of that, I'm like, mmm, alcohol, maybe I should drink these, a few of these every day. 
10. Have you tried the new Christmas Sprite Cranberry? Uh, no, but that sounds good. At least, you know, sodas aren't as bad as uh, alcohol. One thing about sodas, and, and I'm guilty of this, but they, 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 around the holidays, you know, especially with advertising, the power of advertising, yeah. They make it so it's okay, you know, to drink sodas or uh, Coke and Sprite, and it's like part of the gathering. And a cola, Coca-Cola invented Santa Claus. Yes, Coke invented Santa, and uh, the modern-day Red Santa is a, is a fabrication of the Coca-Cola company. And it's big this time of year, the uh, the soda business, and and I'm guilty too. I'm like, oh, Thanksgiving, like I was shopping for food at Thanksgiving and just like millions of other Americans, I'm sure they do the exact same thing. You're, you're buying a turkey. I like the Coca-Cola polar bears. You, you, buy, you buy a turkey and people collect those polar bears too, Mrs. J. You know, you're buying a turkey and then potatoes and then all the, the fixings. And then, and then you're like, and get, you, you guys notice that, that uh, 12 packs of sodas. They all go on sale around the holidays, too. From the months of November, December, January, February, and that's when the last quarter is over. Hey, good one. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to turn it on the TTS, too. Hey, Google. Turn it down, and I turn down the TTS. So, hey, Google. Hey, Play rain a teacher here sounds. Mr. Grant, sir. Morris J. Beamer. Sounds. That's it. Hello, Al Show Shot. Okay, guys, order in the class. Mr. Underscore Nico Dino Three. That's it. At least you got free soda and beer. He'll take it. Well, yeah, that's that's one way of looking at it, but 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 he did it nefariously because he wanted me to be addicted to these chemicals, which was worked. Because then when I went shopping again, even even though I, you know, Moses and Keanu packages to eleven. You know, I'm making a Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving is in uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five days. We have five full days before Thanksgiving. Um, so like millions of other Americans, I was shopping for a turkey. I'm like, oh, turkey's on sale. Well, I like turkey. Potatoes on sale. I like potatoes. Oh, a, a 24 pack of soda that's on sale. JR will be bringing cocaine and hookers. So, but I, I don't know. Like, I guess you, you, you can't choose your friends. No, that's not the expression. The expression is you can't choose your family. You can choose your friends. But uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, um, it could all be in my head. But, but I didn't have to get addicted to the uh, colas. Uh, you know, but, but they're very addicting, you know, especially these Pepsis. You know, you guys haven't seen this Pepsis, I say, made in Hawaii. Can you guys see that? Look at Peach. She's made in Hawaii, too. Hey, Peachy. Okay. So, uh, you see here, all, every Pepsi says made in Hawaii. What do you guys say? No, right. You want to see something else that is made in Hawaii? These are really popular. They look like jello shots. Do the ones in the state say that? No, 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 they don't. <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, I think it's just they just make it uh, just here in Hawaii. So these are also uh, popular in Hawaii. Uh, these are like little, uh, the kids, kids, local boys like these, local boys and girls. And uh, they're like jello shots, except they're, uh, they're similar to lychee, which is a fruit that grows here. That's really slimy. And if you like slippery, slimy stuff, these are like slimy grape, they got grape. And they're so cheap too, apple and pineapple. And I found out a new use for them Whoa, as well. Watch. And you eat them like a jello shot too. So, okay, let me put on the uh, follow. Joe Shots underscore new underscore all. Ten. MMM 
call them slider. Slider, that's a good term. So, uh, yeah, I care about because, you know, you want the juice out. And they have like little, uh, you know, uh, you know what's a good example of that? Where's JP Mermaid? Sick. Slider, LOL. A slimy slider. Um, you know the taro balls, I guess they're called? You know, taro drinks? Milk taro drinks? You know, the slippery, slimy uh, tapioca balls at the bottom of them? Similar texture. But you just take it like this. See, so it's a solid, but it does have juice on top. This is a grape one. Slimy yet satisfying. You know, it tastes a lot like Kool Aid. Doesn't just eat it like a shot. Mm. Now these are so cheap. I found a new use for them. The new merch is here. Pop Jam, check it I do gardening every day. And if you know me, I like to reuse, reduce, and recycle. Reuse is the hardest. You have to be clever to reuse. But these work great. You pop a hole at the bottom of them. You put a little soil on top. Um, place any type of seed, because we're in Hawaii, everything grows magnificently here. Incredibly better here than anywhere else in the world. And uh, so any seed you want, you want to plant a tree, you want to plant an herb, you want to plant a bush, you want to grow some veggies, anything. This makes the perfect little seedling. You just put a little hole in there. Plastic does have its uses, right? Just put a little hole in there, put some soil in there, put a seed in there. Let it sprout. Once it sprouts, just pop it out. Put it in a bigger pot, like a one gallon pot. Tomato plant, pepper plant, anything. Uh, and then you'll have homegrown organic tomatoes, homegrown organic veggies, right down your back lanai, or your back, which is a porch. And uh, so that's one thing you can do in Hawaii that you can't do anywhere else. Anyways, these are really popular in Hawaii. They're real cheap too. Um, you can get a bucket of them at Sam's or Costco for like five, six dollars. I'll show you. This right here is only five, six bucks. And they have mango, strawberry, apple. You know, all different flavors, pineapple, mango, I said, I guess. So yeah, these are so popular in Hawaii. Lanai is a tropical forest. If you ever go to, uh, come to Hawaii, and you leave the uh, outskirts, you'll see these little wrappers laying around. What's your fave mustard, Nico Mons Cuban? Cuban mustard? Sounds good. So this right here is also a, a Hawaii thing. This is called great value. You know, it's like regular stuff except Hawaii. And they sell it at Walmart. I'm just kidding, it's a joke. Don't worry, we're gonna learn about all about um, all about uh, that's Wyoming in a second. I'm sorry, what was that? O underscore T underscore underscore. Sit. Hi. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Sit. Dijon mustard is my favorite. Hey, OT. Dijon mustard? I prefer Grey Poupon. Eshmaj. Sit. Dijon is the get up. 
Hey Google, tell me a joke. Why won't the shrimp share its treasure? Because it's selfish. Let's put it again. Hey Google, volume A. You can send Mr. G, Moses, and he on new packages hey to 1170 New Wahoo Avenue, Po Box 37305. Hey Google, Hello, tell Hello, me a Hello, joke. 96823. What did the teacher do with her student's report on the history of cheese? She graded it. Did you just fart? That's disgusting, Google. Hey Google, tell me a classy joke. Why did the man name his dogs Rolex and Timex? Why? Because they were watchdogs. Hey Google, tell me a dirty joke. Here's a dirty joke for you. Why did the coffee taste like mud? Because it was ground just a couple of minutes ago. Tip. It's crazy how many types of mustard there are. It's gotta be the condiment with the most variations. Hey Google. Underscore Nicotino three. How many types of mustard are there? I just straight up eat it with spoon. There are seventeen major mustard Spring plant elements. species. Here are the first three: black mustard seed, grape seed, and black out. mustard. Check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot s three elements dot com slash mrg underscore live. Ashmaj. Tip. Can you ask her to tell you ten jokes? Mr underscore Nicotino three. Tip. Same dirty joke. Hey, Nico. <laughs> King of Commons, there's dope. Hey, 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 what's your name? Hey, Google. Tell me 10 jokes. I can only do one at a time at the moment, but feel free to ask for another. Hey, Google. What's a threesome? Threesome is used as a noun to mean a group of three people engaged in the same activity, similarly to trio and triplets. Do you want to hear threesome used in a sentence? Help Mr. G with a donation through Stream Elements. Hey Google, what's a glorious colon slash slash streamelements.com slash mrg On the website miriam-webster.com, they say, called also millhole, five, a hole made through a wall or partition to enable people to perform sex acts anonymously. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Tip. Is mustard gas made from mustard? Hey Google. Is mustard gas made of real mustard? On the website emergency.cdc.gov, they say, Sulfur mustard is also known as mustard gas or mustard agent, or by the military designations H, HD, and HT. Okay, I don't care. Sulfur hey Google. mustard, some. Will I have a good year? Sorry, I didn't understand, but I found something similar. Do you want to know who starred in a good year? No. Hey Google, tell me my fortune. I'm no cookie, but I do know some fortunes. It's a good day to appreciate the little things. Okay. Okay. Hey Google. MR underscore Nico. Volume three. Sit. Hey Google. Wyoming. Vol um, play Mozart. Yes, we're studying Wyoming right now. Okay, class. Uh, the great state of Wyoming. Exto boy magic. Sir. Sub G and Chad. Hey, dope boy. Joshans underscore new underscore alt. Sir. Time to get serious, y'all. So, the great state of Wyoming. First J. Themer made. Wyoming to is named. Hey, there no, that no, is my magic. state motto is. MR underscore Nicotino 3. To class is in session. The equality state. Yes, that's right. The equality Oceans state. underscore new underscore alt. To EO dope. Does anybody know why the state of Wyoming, this is the state flag of Wyoming, by the way. Does anybody know why the state of Wyoming is known as the equality state? Of anybody? Shoshim? Mrs. J? 
Okay. Um, Wyoming is known as the equality state is because they granted women the first state to grant women the right to vote. Because they said so. Well, also, uh, you know, it's kind of ironic. They're they're also the most Republican state. So it's like, hey, Wyoming, you say you're the equality state. (laughs) Where's all the... Because never mind. Why not? I guess we should make that joke. Uh... Anyways, uh, Wyoming is the equality state. The reason is because they were the very first state uh, to give women the right to vote. It's an interesting story about that. Um, a lot of uh, politicians, they, uh, they didn't expect it to pass. Um, it was really early on during uh, so, women's su- the suffrage movement. MRG, do you buy love in equal rights, equal fights? Uh, yes, but we're not making this uh, personal. We're, I'm t- totally about uh, why... Wyoming is called the Equality State. So, um, when it was first put on the ballot, um, it initially felt Set. that they had no chance the for it to pass. Gear, pop champ, check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash so, um, a lot of politicians voted for it um, just to say that they voted for it so they could, um, you know, you know, look good or whatever. And uh, enough politicians voted for it that it surprisingly passed. Uh, it was a huge upset and. Uh, they were the first state, um, well before other states, um, to let women vote. And it's really odd, you know, from where we're coming from uh, now, you know, when we're about to have a woman president or whatnot. But let me go ahead and check the details here. Hey, Google, uh, when did Wyoming let first let women vote? 1869. From the website nps.gov. Hey, Google. Volume 8. Hey, Google. When did Wyoming first let women vote? 1869. On the website nps.gov, they say, when Wyoming was still a territory, legislators passed the Wyoming Suffrage Act of 1869. This act gave women in the territory the right to vote. So, hey, Google. Hey, Google. Volume 2. So it was in 1869, and and get this, guys. This was the the Wyoming suffrage movement happened in 1869, which gave women the right to vote before Wyoming was even a state. It was Wyoming territory at that time. Wyoming didn't become a state until later in the century. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, and that means that I'm not mistaken. I'm just really nice and polite, but don't lack that for don't fucking take away my credibility for that. Hey, Google. When did Wyoming become a state? Wyoming was there at statehood on the 10th of July, 1890. Okay, so yeah, couldn't have been more, right? Um, later in the decade, in 1890, you can send they became a state. So, 1869, 79, 89, 21 years before they even became a state, women were allowed to vote in Wyoming. Um, that was also a slogan, if I'm not mistaken. I watched a short documentary about Wyoming last night, uh, knowing about this lecture coming up. Uh, but women also, um, you know, uh, were able to own land and homestead laws were a little bit more uh, generous uh, towards single women, believe it or not. Uh, single women were encouraged uh, to come to Wyoming to farm and start land. credibility, MRG, will give it back seven jumping jacks. I don't know what's talking about. But anyways, uh, so yeah, women were granted the right to vote in 1869. Hey Google, turn up the volume a little bit. Now, um, Wyoming is uh, one of the largest states. I believe it's the 10th largest state area-wise. However, it's least uh, largest population-wise. Hey, Google. Volume 8. Hey, Google. What's the least populous state? Here's what I understood from the website worldpopulationreview.com. The smallest state by population is Wyoming, with fewer than 600,000 residents. Do you want a little more context? Yes, please. 
So Wyoming is the smallest state, only 600,000 plus residents. More context, please. Sorry, I didn't understand. Hey Google, what's the uh, smallest state population wise in the United States? Wyoming. On the website beef2live.com, they say, Wyoming is the least populated state in the United States followed by Vermont and Alaska. California accounts for 12% of the population of the United States. So Wyoming has just about 600,000 uh, residents. I, I imagine like they must have less three or, or less. Hey Google, close music. They must have three or less electoral votes, I'm guessing, with that little population. Um, but guess what? They still have two state senators, just like Texas and California. Isn't that not like, anyways. So, uh, hey Google. Three mailboxes. Wait, what were we going to ask? <laughs> Never mind, hold on a second. The new merch is here. Oh yeah, electoral votes. Hey Google. How many electoral votes does uh, Wyoming have? According to Wikipedia, the state of Wyoming has three electoral votes in the Electoral College. So they have three electoral votes, Hawaii has four. Hey Google, what's the largest city in Wyoming? Its largest city is Cheyenne. Okay, the largest city is Cheyenne, that's also the capital of Wyoming. So only 600,000 people in the whole state. That's nothing. That's like a small city in California, 600,000 people. And that's the whole state. Uh, the capital, Cheyenne, Cheyenne, however you, you want to pronounce it, it's got to be one of the smallest capitals in the United States. Hey Google, what is the capital of Wyoming? Its capital is Cheyenne. Hey Google, what is the population of Cheyenne? 63,957. 63,000, that's nothing. The school I went to, the University of Texas, Hook of Horns, has 50,000 students. The largest schools in the United States, University of Madison, uh, University of Wisconsin. Uh, University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, University of Texas, like I said. Uh, they have a uh, University of uh, Central Florida. The largest schools in the United States, to put it in perspective, are 50,000 students. Cheyenne. No, it actually starts with a C-H. It's uh, Cheyenne. Hey, Google, how do you spell Cheyenne, Wyoming? Cheyenne, Wyoming is spelled C H E Y E N N E W Y O. Oh, okay. Hey, Google. That's enough. Hey, Google. That's enough. So, yeah, Cheyenne, Wyoming is the capital. C H E Y E N N E. All right. Uh, that's also the largest city, I guess. Um, however, um, they also have uh, Laramie, uh, Wyoming is a popular tourist destination. Uh, that's where the University of Wyoming is located, which is the largest school in the state of Wyoming. Hey Google, what are the largest cities in the state of Wyoming? Wyoming's largest city is Cheyenne. Hey Google, where is the University of uh, Wyoming? They most have smart students in Wyoming. The address for the University of Wyoming is 1000 East University Avenue, Laramie, Wyoming, 82071. <clears throat> hey Google, what are Wyoming's, Wyoming's, what are some large cities in Wyoming? Cities, towns, villages frequently mentioned on the web include Cheyenne, Casper, Rock Springs, and others. Mississippi High is number one. 
So there's two major state parks in Wyoming. The very first state park, Yellowstone Park, is majority in Wyoming. And then there's also one is uh, uh, Tetons National Park, I believe. Hey Google, what are the major national parks in the state of Wyoming? I found a list on the website touristsecrets.com. Top 10 Wyoming national parks and state parks in the U.S. Here are the first five. Yellowstone National Park. Grand Teton National Park. Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Hey Google, tell me about Grand Teton National Park. Here's some information about Grand Teton National Park. Grand Teton National Park is in the northwest of the U.S. state of Wyoming. It encompasses the Teton Mountain Range, the 4,000-meter Grand Teton Peak, and the valley known as Jackson Hole. It's a popular destination in summer for mountaineering, hiking, backcountry camping and fishing, linked to nearby Yellowstone National Park by the John D. Rockefeller Jr. Memorial Parkway. The new merch is here, Pop Jam, check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch.s3melliments.com slash mrg underscore live. Hey Google. What is the state flag of you can send Wyoming? And what is the state bird of Wyoming? According to Wikipedia, the flag of the state of Wyoming consists of the silhouette of an American bison. Do you want a little more context? Yes, please. Sorry, I don't understand. Yes. Hey Google, tell me about the state flag of Wisconsin. I mean, sorry, never mind, never mind. On the website no. 50states.com, hey they say, hey Google. starting at the top. Tell me about the state flag of Wyoming. According to Wikipedia, the flag of the state of Wyoming consists of the silhouette of an American bison. The red symbolizes the Native Americans and the blood of pioneers who gave their lives. The white is a symbol of purity and uprightness. All right, so uh, the red on the state flag symbolizes the blood of all the Native Americans that they butchered. Um, hey Google, what's the blue on the state flag of Wyoming represent? On the website Britannica.com, they say, its white is said to stand for purity and uprightness, and blue represents the sky and fidelity, justice and virility. Okay, so the blue represents justice and virility. Wow, that's a fucking deep flag. The blue represents justice. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Sick. Does Wyoming get snow? Yes. Virility. Uh, what did they say about the white? The red. Represents the blood. Of Native Americans. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? The blood of the natives. Or underscore Nicotino 3. That's it. Poor Indians. You can say that again. Hey, at least they're represented on the flag. Um, also, uh, the bison and the buffalo. There's a big difference between the bison and the buffalo, if you guys didn't know. They're two totally separate animals. Um, buffalo are near threatened. They were recently uh, endangered in the last century uh, due to uh, American colonists. Um, but um, bison, uh, they've never been uh, endangered. They look alike, similar, but they are totally different. Let's see if I have a picture for you. So, this right here is a picture of a bison on the right. It's a picture of a bison on the right and a picture of buffalo on the left. Which one would win in a fight? 
Well, I got my money on the buffalo because the buffalo has horns. Except, Indians hunted them all. True. Or was Jay Beamer made? Except, I went to the Terry Bison Ranch in Wyoming when I was little. It was cool. Wow, Mrs. Uh, Jay's actually been to Wyoming. Help Mr. G with the donation through Stream Elements. HTTPS colon slash slash Stream Elements dot com slash MRG so, slash Tim. If you look at the difference between a uh, a bison and a buffalo, one so of the difference is a buffalo so, has horns. I prefer buffalo ranch. They both, you can eat buffalo meat. Buffalo burgers are popular, even though they're uh, a slightly uh, near threatened species. And bison burgers are like a state delicacy in Montana and in Wyoming. But if you look over here in the state of Wyoming, and if somebody tells you if you're ever in a trivia contest, and they ask what animal is on the state of Wyoming, what, what's, what are you going to say, class? I'll give you a clue. It's either a buffalo or a bison. Now that's a buffalo. Everybody see the buffalo? Okay. Now that's a bison right there. Okay. So we have buffalo and bison. Now for 10 extra credit points. Looks like a yeah. That's not right, Mrs. J. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Buffalo. Mm. You spelt Buffalo incorrectly, Mr. Nicotino. And and yes, that's that's also incorrect as well. I'll answer it. The correct answer is it's a bison. And you can tell by the distinct beard. Notice the beard on the animal? And no horns as well. You see, notice how there aren't any horns. I meant that buffalo printout looks like a rat. Oh, okay. Asterisk, yeah. So, uh, bison and buffalo right there. Okay, okay, we're moving on, moving on here. Has anybody in the class ever had a buffalo meat? Just curious. I did at a farm once. Um... I don't really remember what it tasted like, honestly. Um, well, moving on, moving on, moving on. Said, I might have had, but not sure. I think I might have had a buffalo burger once. Okay, um, hey Google. What is the state of flower of Wyoming? Said, the state flower of Wyoming is Wyoming Indian paintbrush. Okay, class. So, did you hear that? The state flower of Wyoming is Wyoming Indian paintbrush. What a name, right? Oh, well, we're done with the flag. Blue. Wait, we'll go over the flag once more, and then we'll go over the flower. Okay, hey, Google. Was Jake Beamer made? Said. Bison buffalo. Hey, Google. What is the... Uh, flag of uh well no here i actually i got something better for you guys i got a video for you guys hey google mind your own business okay then i'm here if you need me i didn't ask you anything about that google state of wyoming consists of the silhouette of an american bison the red symbolizes the native americans and the blood of pioneers who gave the lives the white is a symbol of purity and uprightness. MR underscore in the green. skies and distant yeah. mountains. It so is also the buffalo wheels found here in Augustus and Verinity. The bison represents the night and fauna, while the yeah. seal on it symbolizes yeah. the custom of rounding lives. In 1917, in the Wyoming Daughters of the American Revolution, Marana Conflicts invited the public to submit possible designs for a Wyoming flag. A prize of $20 was offered to the winner. A member received a total of 37 entries. They chose a drawing by Verla Kays, a recent graduate of the Art Institute of Chicago, on January 31st, 1917.
Governor Robert E. Carey signed the state flag bill into law and the bison flag was officially adopted. Darwin is great rain in the a professor at the University of this Wyoming, a noted suffragist and scholar, contributed suggestions for changes after the design had been accepted. In his original design, the one approved by Wyoming's legislature, the bison faces toward the fly, symbolizing its former freedom to roam the plains of Wyoming. Hebert thought that if the bison were to face toward the hoist, the design would be more balanced. In the end, all Wyoming flags from the first batch produced onward showed the bison facing the hoist. Although this change was never officially adopted by the Wyoming legislature in 2001, a survey conducted by the North American Vexillological Association placed Wyoming's flag 23rd in design quality out of the 72 Canadian provincial U.S. state and U.S. territory flags ranked. Okay. Stream elements. Interesting voice by that guy. The new merch is here. Pop champ, check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot s stream elements dot com slash okay class um once again hey Google what is the state flower of Wyoming the state flower of Wyoming is Wyoming Indian paintbrush. Wyoming Indian paint brush. That's a name you're not going to forget, right? Wyoming Indian paint brush. So, there, we have a beautiful image of Wyoming Indian paintbrush. Isn't that pretty? Next to the state flag of Wyoming. Now, some of the mammals you might find in the state of Wyoming are black bears, moose, uh, white-tailed deer. What else? Elk. Uh, bighorn sheep. What else? Hey Google, play some music. Playing some music on Pandora. Hey Google, volume four. interesting fact about Wyoming it has more guns per capita than any state in the United States however it also has the lowest crime rate of any state in the United States imagine that hmm? now I'm going to read a little bit about the state of Wyoming after I eat this delicious pineapple snack Hmm. What's Jane Beamer made? Yeah. Do you know what her most gun friendly state is? Neither. Except. Yeah. Either Wyoming or Arizona. Nation through stream elements. HTTPS colon slash slash S stream elements. So it looks like peaches in my chair. RG underscore live slash bin. Where's J.P. were made? Said. Yes. One of those. 
Wyoming, <laughs> Wyoming is a landlocked state in the western United States. The 10th largest state by area, so the 10th largest but the least populous. It's the second most sparsely populated state in the country. It is bordered by Montana to the north and northwest, South Dakota and Nebraska to the east, Colorado to the south, Utah to the southwest, and Idaho to the west. The state population was estimated at 578,000 in 2019. The state capital and the most populous city is Cheyenne, which has an estimated population of just 63,000. Wyoming's western half is mostly covered by the ranges and rangelands of the Rocky Mountains. So like Montana, they have the Rocky Mountains and the Great Plains. While the eastern half of the state is high elevation prairie called the High Plains like North Dakota and South Dakota as well. Um, almost half of the land in Wyoming is owned by the U.S. government, leading Wyoming to rank sixth by area and fifth by proportion of state land owned by federal government. Federal lands include two national parks, so those are the only two national parks, the Grand Teton and Yellowstone, the two we covered earlier. Uh, but there's also two national recreation areas, two national monuments, several national forests, historic sites, fish hatcheries, and wildlife refugees. The original inhabitants of the region include the Arapaho, the Crow, Lakota, and the Shoshan, <laughs> can you believe that? The Shoshan. Uh, Southwest, <laughs> the Shoshan was the first inhabitants of uh, Wyoming. Southwest Wyoming was claimed by the Spanish Empire and then as Mexican territory until it was seceded to the U.S. in 1848 at the end of the Mexican-American War. So can you believe that? Up until 1848, it was owned by the Spanish. <laughs> it's a long way from Spain. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, that's too funny. The region of, I know, right when you said Shoshan, what are the odds? We do cover a lot of material in this class, though, right? The region acquired the name Wyoming when a bill was introduced to Congress in 1865 to provide a temporary government for the territory of Wyoming. The name had been earlier used for Wyoming Valley in Pennsylvania, and is derived from the Muncie word, meaning at the Big River Flat. The main drivers of Wyoming's economy are tourism and extraction of minerals such as coal, oil, and natural gas. So one thing that they, they, they haven't spoken about here, but I am aware of, is Wyoming if I, uh, I, I, is the, one of the largest importers of coal in the United States. Um, so this whole anti-mining, anti-fracking thing as, and their pro-gun stance is another reason they always vote highly Republican. And I don't know what the what, how what the percentages were in 2020, but in 2016, I think it was like almost 70 percent of its residents voted for Donald Trump, uh, and that was the highest any um, state had ever uh, voted for a Republican candidate. So they are very heavily Republican. Um, the main drivers are uh, coal, oil, and natural gas. Uh, agriculture, agricultural commodities include livestock, hay, sugar, beets, grain, wheat, and barley, and wool. The climate is semi-arid and continental, drier and windier from the rest of the country with greater temperature extremes. So high desert, maybe. Wyoming has been a politically conservative state since the 1950s with a Republican nominee carrying the state in every presidential election since 1968. Wow. Since freaking John F. Kennedy. Well, Reagan, I mean, no, excuse me, Nixon won in 68. Uh, so they didn't vote for Nixon. Who, who was up, who, whoever Nixon ran against in 1968, it slips my mind. Let me think. Uh, LBJ didn't want to run. Hey, Google, who did Nixon run against in 1968? Here's a summary from the website en.wikipedia.org. Richard Nixon defeated Democratic incumbent Vice President Hubert Humphrey. Nixon won the popular vote by less okay, than point, but took most states outside okay, of the Okay, got it. All right, hey, hey, vote. shut up.
So, uh, they hadn't, they voted Republican in every single election since 1968, uh, where Richard Nixon beat Hubert Humphrey. And uh, for some reason, they voted for Hubert Humphrey. Maybe Hubert Humphrey was from Wyoming? I don't know. Hey, Google, where's Hubert Humphrey from? Hubert Humphrey was born in Wallace. Wallace. Thanks. Hey, Google, what state is Hubert Humphrey from? South Dakota. According to oh, okay. Okay, that's enough. So Hubert Humphrey is from South Dakota. That's why Wyoming voted for Hubert Humphrey, because he's from that area. Climate. Wyoming's climate is generally semi-arid and continental. It is drier and windier in comparison to most of the United States, with greater temperature extremes. Much of this is due to topo topography of the state. Summers in Wyoming are warm, with July high temperatures averaging between 85 and 95 degrees in most of the state, with increasing elevation. However, this average drops rapidly with locations above 9,000 feet. So the average uh, temperature in January, wow. The average temperature in January, the average high is 24 is that right? No way. What the freaking A? The average temperature in January is 32 degrees. February 37. March, that goes up 8 degrees. The high is 45 degrees. April, the high temperature average is 56 degrees. May, the high temperature average is 66 degrees. Summertime, June, the high temperature is 78 degrees. Still cold. July, the high temperature 87 degrees. Okay, you can maybe take your shirt off. August, 85 degrees. September, 74 degrees. October, 60 degrees. November, 44 degrees. December, 34 degrees. The average low temperature in January is 12 degrees. The average. The average low temperature in February is 16. March 21. April 28. Hey, Bella, aloha. Yes, uh, class is still held at 3 o'clock Hawaii time, Hawaii standard time, um, but we're doing it on Twitch now. I am re uploading uh, these streams onto uh, YouTube as soon as I'm done here. So. They're not live on YouTube, but they do go on YouTube a few hours later. Um, it just seems like uh, YouTube, uh, you know, is kind of like, I'm just tired of YouTube. Uh, you know, they've just, um, you know, upset me and been really unfair to me at the times. And uh, Twitch is a, a bit safer for uh, creators. Uh, because they they block people's IP addresses and uh, they make they have uh, different uh, different things in force to uh, protect the uh, the uh, stream more. But we still have class Monday through Friday, and on my backup channel, I do still go live on my backup channel. Hi, Mrs. J. So if any of you guys aren't subscribed to my second channel, I do still go live on that second channel. Uh, maybe Mrs. J or somebody can put a uh, link in the description. But um, but yeah, looking at the uh, the average low temperatures of the state of Wyoming, uh, we're going over the state of Wyoming today, Bella. Uh, each day we do a different state. Uh, today we're doing Wyoming. Um, but yeah, even in the summertime, I see the low temperature in May. is The average low temperature in May is 37 degrees. You can die in that temperature. I could. I, that would be the cold, one of the coldest weathers ever. The nights of my life in May. And then June, the average low temperature is 46 degrees. July, the average low temperature is 54 degrees. August, the average temperature is 51 and below. September, 41. Okay, well, don't let them know that. Well, anyways, I prefer uh, Twitch better because then I can uh, blog people like Shoshan. <laughs> so anyways, um, 
It's freezing there, and I can't say that I'll never go to uh, the state of uh, Wyoming, but if I ever am there, I have to make sure to uh, to uh, have a jacket, a yeah, thick jacket, because I cannot handle cold weather at all. That's one of the major reasons I live in Hawaii. I don't plan on ever going to uh, the mainland, really. I don't plan on, and I, uh, Alaska, Alaska I might visit, but I don't plan on ever visiting uh, the continental so, United States. So this is kind of interesting, um, but but I guess I might meet somebody from my Wyoming someday. You know, people in Hawaii, they come from all around the United States and all around the world. So, uh, you know, you meet people from everywhere here in Hawaii. So even though I'll probably never, you never say never, you know, because I might someday find myself in Wyoming. But uh, more likely I would find somebody that I knew from Wyoming or that had visited Wyoming or something like that. So uh, I'm going to read a little bit more just about the location and size of Wyoming because that's really interesting. Uh, Wyoming uh, had the petition to become, to become a state. It was originally Wyoming territory for a long time. Like I said, uh, it was the first uh, part of the United States that granted women uh, the right to vote. So, as specified in the des designating legislation for the territory of Wyoming, Wyoming's borders are lined latitude 41 degrees north and 45 degrees north, and longitude 104 and 100. A geodesic quadrangle. So, it's not an exact square, it's a quadrangle. Wyoming is one of only three states, being Colorado and Utah to have borders defined by only straight lines. Due to surveying inaccuracies during the 19th century, Wyoming's legal borders... Oh, wow. Hey, Bella. Bella says, I brought food and keys and a bunch of tools straight case from John. It says it'll be delivered Saturday to my business. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, one thing about the uh, uh, P.O. Box is they always uh, want the P.O. Box number. Uh, that will help out so much, Bella. Shout out to Bella Smiles. I was trying to turn up the uh, volume for some reason. It turned down for some reason. Oh, that's right. It's going through this other speaker. Hold on. So Bella says, I bought food, treats, and a bunch of tuna for the straight kitties and uh, help. It says it'll be delivered Saturday the 28th, but I just noticed I didn't include her. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, it, it can still come without the P.O. Box. This the awesome um, uh, cat hammock that you got. Uh, that didn't have the P.O. Box, and the, uh, the male lady did get upset about that. But um, it's like, maybe you have to tell her they got the, the P.O. Box, blah, 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 blah. But anyways... Uh, uh, thank you so much. That's going to be a really big help. And I really appreciate you, Bella. Um, you know, I appreciate all you real ones, uh, you know, that you guys see what I'm doing here. Um, like I said, I'm working on uh, acquiring an acre of land here in Hawaii uh, where I plan to build a farm and a cat sanctuary. Um, if you guys know me, if you guys watch me a lot, I, am, I, I really do enjoy uh, helping uh, people and uh, the less fortunate, like, uh, and Hawaii has so many unfortunate cats and um, they're homeless and they're hungry and they need somebody to help them. Uh, there's, there's terrible uh, animal abuse here and I've always been uh, a friend to cats and I've always loved them. Um, so, and I've always loved farming um, and that's one of the main reasons I moved to Hawaii is because I was a manager of a farm here. Um, but uh, those are my two loves that I really love doing. Uh, you know, taking care of cats and farming. Um, so I'm working on starting a nonprofit, and um, and I'm I'm doing a nonprofit and and uh, acquiring a, an inexpensive piece of land here. Uh, in exchange, there won't be a house or anything. I'm trying to get a mini house, a tiny house, eventually. Um, but but yeah, I'm just uh, working on uh, getting a down payment and everything and. Uh, you know, getting the paperwork set up. But it's going to be really nice uh, once it, once I finally get it and I can rescue 
I can rescue cats. I can help them, and uh, it's a really it'd be a really great thing and really necessary for the community. Um, you know, one thing uh, that's changed since COVID is uh, you used to you know walk around Hawaii and you would see commercial airlines all over all over the place. You look up in the sky, and uh, hey, thanks for the follow. You look up in the sky, and uh, there's big jets uh, airliners, but you don't see that anymore at all. Uh, and it's odd, um, but there's no travel from Australia anymore. There's no travel from Japan. There's no travel from any other countries except from the mainland United States. And to do that, you have to have a COVID test before you get on the plane, a negative COVID test before you get on the plane, before you come here. So uh, there's, there's so much less uh, uh, plane travel normally. In the, in the previous eight years I've lived here, you look up in the sky, and you see planes always. Uh, it's eerie not seeing planes in the sky. The only planes you see now are military planes. Jets, Jets and huge, uh, uh, those huge cargo, military cargo planes. Those are the only planes you see now. And uh, Hawaii um, is one of only a few states where their number one industry is tourism. Hawaii, Maine, uh, Florida, and uh, like the, I think that's it. Um, so yeah, they, they uh, Hawaii has been hurting really bad uh, with the economy, and what that that's done is that's trickled down uh, to uh, you know increase crime, and so there's been a huge increase in crime, and um, you know there's people out there that are willing to do uh, just about anything. It's very, extremely dangerous, so uh, you know now's the time to uh, be safe. Okay, but um, back to uh, Wyoming. So this is a Wyoming Indian paintbrush. I thought that was interesting. It's a real pretty. Shadow, what are you doing over there? I thought that was a really pretty. So that's the state flag of Wyoming. And then uh, Indian paintbrush. Uh, that's an interesting name too, huh? But if you know, I like gardening and stuff like that. So I uh, us try to find out the state flower. So, once again, uh, we learned a little bit of Wyoming today. Wyoming is the equality state uh, because they're the first state to let women vote all the way in the 1860s, 30 years before they actually even became a state. Um, it's the least populous state. It has less than uh, 700,000 people. Um, their flag has a bison. There's a big difference between a buffalo and a bison. If you learned that today, you know, buffalo or bison are as related as coyotes and wolves, you know, or, or humans and chimpanzees. So they're two totally different animals. Uh, we learned all about the flag of Wyoming. The red part of the flag represents the blood of the Indians, Native Americans, I should say. Um, the largest city of Wyoming is Cheyenne. Uh, only population 63,000. You know, the school I went to, like I said, is 50,000. So put that in perspective. You know, like like at my school at the University of Texas, when you walk around, you'd see people like, oh, there's that guy from that class. Oh, there's that girl. Oh, there's that teacher. You know, you just fit. That's how many 50,000 people is. So 60,000 people, that's nothing. That means when you're going, you know, within a year or two, you know every single person in that town. And that's the biggest city in Wyoming. So once again, I don't ever plan on going to Wyoming. Um, I, I don't ever plan on leaving Hawaii, personally. I told you my future plans with the uh, cat sanctuary and everything like that. Uh, one thing about the cat sanctuary is I do either want to keep in an apartment in town here in Honolulu, as they say, or um, if I have to on the property, um, what I'll do is I'll get a shed, you know, like one of those nice sheds you get at Costco or, or Builder Square, and uh, so I'll have my chalkboard in the um, and, the, and the map and everything like that and uh, we'll have a regular class every day more Monday through Friday I will I do still want to continue doing that um, but I do want to expand my farming efforts as well and to do that I can acquire the land but the land's probably not gonna have a house on it at first so and I do want to continue teaching so I could either keep in an apartment or something like that in town here where I can uh, teach Monday through Friday or an office building you guys know uh, office buildings are so inexpensive now. 
in every city in the United States because people aren't going to offices anymore and they don't need to rent office buildings. However, they are cracking down on people trying to live in office buildings. Um, a lot of you, some of you might be in California or on the West Coast, Arizona also. Um, if you look at office buildings there, you can get them for half the price of regular apartments, but you're not allowed to live there. That's what the thing is. Um, and they're there because they're they're, it's supply and demand. There's so many empty office buildings in every major city in the United States. But um, do you really want to uh, rent those out? So I was looking at that, too. And I would uh, if I rented out an office building, I could use it Monday through Friday for teaching class. And I could still uh, go out to the farm and still have a nice uh, farm uh, farming experience every day as well. But that's a lot to ask and I need to be organized and it does take uh, income, it does take money as well. So thanks for the follow there. Um, I appreciate um, all you guys. And uh, I, like, like I said, I do like Twitch better. My shirt matches the uh, Twitch. Uh, but if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, shout out to all the YouTube viewers, Lita Cat, shout out to Lita Cat. Uh, you know, she's uh, she's got a, a great orange cat. It's like 17, 18 years old. I always forget his name. It's not Felix. It's uh, I forget his name. But uh, anyways, but but uh, but yeah. Um, Joe Shots underscore new underscore all. That's it. Keanu, you'd be nice. Have you ever had an Elvis sandwich? Or yeah, I used to make Elvis it? sandwiches all the time. That's it. Simone. They're, they're messing with the new uh, Black Beauty. Or J.P. Yeah. were made. That's it. Or Morris. You know, it's so... Morris, that's right. Morris. Morris is the name. It's so weird. Uh, Peach looks up to Keanu so much. and Peach sees Keanu mean to Black Beauty. And... Uh, He's like, oh, so that's what we're supposed to do, okay. He's like, I give, he's like, he even gives Keanu a high five. He's like, yeah, I got it. And then like, Ke Keanu goes up to the Black Beauty. He's like, Shh. you know? And then uh, Peach is like, goes up right behind him. He's like, Shh. like Peach is like the little Keanu, like mini Keanu. Like Keanu's like, kind of gives him a hiss and the Black Beauty's like, oh, well, that hurt my feelings. And then Peach goes up to him and he's like, you know, gives a baby hiss, and then Black Beauty Kitty is like, oh, meow, meow, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> you know, oh, it's so sad. Black Beauty's the nicest kitty, but she's so crazy, man. She's got these huge claws that are like, <sighs> and I, I think she might have an issue where her claws don't retract or something, but all night she's going like this. <laughs> With the claws, though. And it's killing me. I got claws all over me. I'm like, stop. So I got to wear the uh, sheet on me. Or, uh, she doesn't understand. Like, uh, I'm sorry. She's not the smartest cat in the shed. And she just claws me and like... Quick like, action, Jack. She doesn't yeah. understand. Get a job, me eh? SAP. Where's J. Thiemer made? It's a... In male armor. Uh, yeah, I still do my tutoring gig every day. I get paid twenty-seven fifty per hour. I do that about two hours per day. Yeah, that's why I have all this teaching equipment. Stop it. Knife it. Sit. Help Mr. G with a donation. But yeah, the uh, Black Beauty is what I call her. And, uh, she's not all there. And uh, so she'll jump on me and just like claw me. But she's the sweetest cat. She's just not the smartest cat in this. Post her claws on our slash murder mittens. Like she'll go up to uh, Keanu, Keanu will be like, and like, like claw her, and she'll be like, ooh. And then she'll go right up to him again. Where's and it's like, yo, you probably shouldn't Is go it? up to his face like that. She is pretty. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, it's hard. You know, uh, black cats are the least adopted cats. Uh, also, black dogs are the least adopted dogs in shelters. Uh, so, you know, black cats. Uh, yeah, they really need help. Black cats matter, and they need help. And uh, That's it. so, you know, you always want to take care of black cats. Because one reason is they don't show up on film at all. Like, I, I've known that cat for a while, and I, I, I had never even seen its eyes. Because, uh, you know, that, that cat, Black Beauty, is totally black. Like, completely black, with black lips, black eyes. 
And so, like, it's hard to see her sometimes because it's just so dark. But, um, but yeah, I've been doing gardening every day and that's been really fun. I'm going to make a gardening video um, in a little bit. I'm going to do some gardening at dusk here. I'm going to water my plants and uh, plant some seedlings. Uh, plant them in these nice little seedlings things right here. And so I'm going to make an 8K video of that. Um, I don't have to do my tutoring gig tomorrow or this weekend at all. So that's good. I'll have time this weekend. Normally, I do a tutoring gig uh, for a school in China for two hours a day where I get paid twenty seven fifty. So it's not much, but it's something. You know, it's more than like an incel in his basement weighing some talking shit, right? And, and if I do it every day, because the work is available every day. So two hours a day is what I try to do. And I generally do that about 10 to 14 hours a week. So at twenty seven fifty. Also, it's not taking out any taxes, so I have to claim those taxes for myself. So my goal usually each week is to work 10 hours per week. So I get $27.50 per hour. So at 10 hours, without the taxes taken out, I'll have to pay those at the end of the year. I, I get about 207, 27, 270 per week. But if I do a few more extra hours, like on the weekends or something, and I get up to like 15 hours, then my check's about like 350 per week. So three fifty Three per week, um, so every two weeks. That's about seven hundred every two weeks, and then fourteen hundred per month. Slash, 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 so my bills are, you know, pretty expensive slash, living here in Hawaii. But with the money that I've had saved and stuff, um, you know, it's not that bad, and I can't complain. You know, so I still get to do what I love. I teach every day for two hours a day, and I also do these teaching streams as well. And the haters, they they can they can just make up as much bullshit and lies that. They're the ones that like still live with their mommies, right? So anyways, um, I appreciate all you guys watching today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. That sounds cliche, but share the stream somewhere. Also check out my second channel. I'm gonna have a farming video coming up soon. Uh, and I upload there every day as well. Um, so also this is the last class of the week. We'll be out of the classroom until Monday, uh, but I will go live tomorrow and the next day. Um, I'm probably going to go to a, a restaurant or something like that. So look for some IRL streaming tomorrow and then the next day. Uh, and then we'll be back in class here on Monday. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'm also probably going to use the video game too. You know, I invested a lot into that steering wheel and stuff. For me? So I want to do that. That's it. Night, night, Mr. G. Kids, so, Nico, Shoshan, Bella, Do, and all. Yeah, thank you, uh, Dope Boy Magic, Bella, Mrs. J, Nico. I will say a quick prayer before we go. Um, if you guys are wondering, like I said, that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. I'm going to do uh, some IRL streaming outside. Uh, go to a restaurant or something, get some Hawaiian food, some poke or something. And then uh, I'm going to do a gaming stream on Twitch. This is all going to be on Twitch. A gaming stream with a race car or something like that, probably on Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. Underscore all. That's it. Night, night, MRS. There's a vegan buffet I've been wanting to try too, so we'll do something like that. Uh, I'll show you guys some Hawaiian food. That'll be either tomorrow or, the, or Sunday. And like I said, I'll do a gaming stream as well. And some uh, farming 8K videos. Look for those on my uh, second channel, my YouTube channel. All right, guys, everybody put your uh, heads down for a second. And Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Dear Lord, thank you for everything you've given us. Thank you for this opportunity to do this live classroom. Thank you for uh, everybody that chose to watch and, and, and support me today. Thank you uh, for Mrs. J. Thank you for Nico. Thank you for Dope Boy. Thank you for the ones that aren't here, for like Nessa and Muzza and Big Block. Please watch over all, everybody that uh, supported me and encourages me, like Detroit, Michigan, and Mays, Jordan, and uh, everybody uh, like Jimmy and um, and Stinky Pinky and Bella. And thank you uh, for everybody that uh, sees what I'm doing with the cats, all the CATs that I love dearly. Uh, please watch over me, dear God. Please watch over me and protect me so I can continue taking care of these cats. Please keep the mean people away. Keep the haters away. 
Keep the evil people away. Protect us with, this, with an umbrella. Protect me and all the real ones that care about me and all of our cats. Protect us, God, so we can continue to take care of the ones that you love and the ones that you care about and be good protectors on this earth. So you need to bless us. Please, thank you for everything you've given us. We humble yourselves. Thank you. Please bless everybody. Please watch over me. Please watch over me so I can continue taking the cats. Please watch over my twin brother, Michael. Please watch over Keanu. Please watch over Moses. Please watch over Peach. Please watch over Meow Meow. Please watch over One Eye. Please watch over Hissy. Please watch over Crocotail. Please watch over Choco. Please watch over Straggler. Please watch over Orangey. Please watch over Spotty. Please watch over all the kitties. Please watch over uh, Stroke Kitty. Please watch over all the warm kitties. Please watch over Black Beauty. Please protect me and the kitties so we can no continue to do good. Thank you for everything you've given us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Dear Lord, please let me get the land in Kania. Please let me get the land and please let me start the farm. Please let me have all the... All the so, luck and, and encouragement and support that I need. Please let me continue to, to have this good, this good luck. Continue to make these strides. Please let my viewership continue. Please bless this stream and bless this classroom. Bless this live classroom. And bring people this way and keep the haters away. Keep the haters like Shoshan and all the mean people away. I love you, God, with all my heart. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us down to invitation, but deliver us from evil. Dear Lord, please bless everybody. Please bless Lita Kat and her sister. Thank you for everything you've given us. Thank you for this opportunity to do this live stream. Thank you for this opportunity to breathe this air. Thank you for this opportunity to live this life. I love you, God. Thank you for letting me be me in this world. And, in, and I don't want to be anybody else. And I don't want to be anywhere else either. Thank you for blessing me. Like I said, please protect us when we feed our CATs and change the world. Thank you, God. In the name of Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's it. Help All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later from Moses and Keanu. Aloha, everybody. Check out my YouTube. Peace, everybody. Screamelements.com slash MRG underscore live slash Tim. Where's Jay Themer made? Love you guys. Amen. Amen.